Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. I'd like to welcome you again, and we're still on our perfecting series. And uh, today we're coming out of the book of Hebrews 10 and 1. That's Hebrews chapter 10 and 1. <clears throat> and it reads out of the NIV. The law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming, not the realities themselves. For this reason it can never, by the same sacrifices repeated endlessly year after year, make perfect, sin, make perfect those who draw near to worship. Again, the law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming, not the realities themselves. For this reason it can never, by the same sacrifices, repeated endlessly, year after year, make perfect those who draw near to worship. Now, again, we're talking about perfected. And here in Hebrew, uh, the Bible is talking about the law, the law that God gave to, uh, to Moses and the Israelites for all of mankind. And here it says the law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming. See, the, the law was a shadow of what was coming, not the realities of what was coming. And what was coming was Jesus Christ. What, what was coming was Jesus Christ. So the law, the, the law was that shadow of Christ's coming, of Christ's sacrifice, of Christ's resurrection. And, and, the, and the law allowed man uh, to know what sin was. Okay? And, 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 and before Jesus Christ, if you love God, you follow the law. If you love God, the law is important to you. The law doesn't, you can't follow the law to be righteous, but if you are righteous and faithful, you follow the law. You know, I've heard people say that, uh, you know, for example, why did God choose Abraham or Noah, you know, other people to, uh, to follow him? And, you know, the Bible, the Bible called uh, Noah, you know, a righteous man. And, um, you know, he said, well, Noah probably wasn't obeying the law more than, in, more than anybody else. But I would argue that that's, if, if, if Noah was a righteous man who trusted God, then he probably was following the law more than everybody else. And the law didn't make him righteous, but him being righteous made him follow the law. So it was important. We've got to always realize that the law is important. It, wasn't, it was very important, but it wasn't the way to righteousness. It was you following the law was a result of your righteousness, of your faithfulness to God. But it says, for this reason, it can never, and that, that, is, that is the law, by the same sacrifice repeated endlessly year after year. Now, under the law, uh, the Israelites uh, sacrificed animals to God on a regular basis, basically uh, weekly, daily. They had sacrifices almost every day for sin, to cover their sins. And the sacrifices covered the sins uh, of, of those uh, presenting the sacrifice to God. Didn't forgive the sins, it covered the sins. And it says repeatedly, repeated endlessly, year after year. So these, these sacrifices were required over and over and over again because they didn't, they didn't forgive us of our sins. They only covered our sins. And, and the death of that animal that you sacrificed to God would, would, would provide a covering of your sins so that God would not see those sins and, 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 and he would cover it, and he would not take notice of them. They were still there. Your sin was still there. You were still guilty of sin. And it says, by the same, for, it, for this reason, the law could not make perfect those who draw near to worship. The law could not make perfect those who draw near to worship. So when you look at this verse, we're talking about a law that could not make perfect um, those who draw near to worship, which means that it's pretty, it's pretty safe to assume that God wants us to be made perfect as we draw near to worship. Now, you know, you, people may say, hey, the Bible doesn't say that. That's not in the Bible. But, but here it's talking about the law. It's talking about coming to worship. It's talking about being made perfect. Okay, now, so now, let's go to what replaced the law. What replaced the law was Jesus Christ. Okay, and, his, and, and, and uh, he gave us life. 
God gave Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, to die on the cross so that our sins could now be forgiven. So that our sins could now be forgiven, not just covered. And not only were our sins forgiven, because I was born after Christ. We were born after Christ. But the sins of those who love God and live before Christ, their sins were also forgiven. It's a perfect sacrifice. It, 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 if you trust in God, if you ask God, if you love God and you live for God, Jesus' sacrifice erased your sins. Erased, they were forgiven completely. Whether you live before or after him. All sin. Now, Jesus' sacrifice can make us perfect. That's why the law is replaced. Because God wants us to be per perfect. So we make perfect those who draw near to worship. And that will be me and you. So again, a, 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 another, another verse that talks about us being made perfect. Okay? And this is very, I mean, this is indirectly, but, I mean, but there, is a, there is an implication in this verse that we need to be made perfect when we draw near to worship. And the law did not do that. The law did not do that. And the law has been replaced by, 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 uh, by the sacrifice and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hmm. So all the time that I have, Hey, God bless you. God loves you, and I love you too. Have a great day.